Hey guys, is your code reader not working when you plug it in and perhaps it has a message resembling that? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why that happens and how to fix it, guys. The problem is in there. Okay, let me disconnect that plug and I will show you what the problem is. Okay, guys, so here is my plug for the code reader where you plug in the code reader. And I mean... It looks fine from here, but look at it really, really closely. I want you guys to see. See, that is why it's not reading. See all that green corrosion on it? So when you plug in your code reader, you know, it doesn't connect properly on one or two of them, and then the code reader does not work, see? So how do you fix that, guys? Well, one thing I have is I got some compressed air. So that way you can get in there and you know, you can start with that. Did that really help it? Not really. Okay, so now check it out, guys. So this is a Dremel. Uh, we're not going to use this because you don't want to shave off too much. I got these at the dollar store, though, guys. So I'm going to grab, see, they're like sharp at the end. See, I'm gonna probably grab this last one here and I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, I'm gonna grab this last one. Okay, so I got this little guy here, see? I got the smallest one I could find. So what I'm gonna do is you wanna go in here. You don't wanna use the Dremel because you'll strip it too much and then it won't connect. You just wanna get this in. See, look, and get it out. See, and you're putting like scratches on it to make it conduct again. See, look what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that to all of them. I'll see you guys in a minute, okay? Okay, so I actually changed what I was using. Now I got like a pointier one. This one's actually better, look. You got to be careful because you don't want to you don't want to bend this in and break it. Uh, you know what I mean? See, this one, I might have bent it in too much. So I might even have to pull it out and make sure I bent this little tab back see it's got to be see what i mean see like you don't want that to happen to it you, it needs to stay like that so it pushes on the prong when it goes in so okay it is working though i'm going to clean all these and then i'm going to unscrew this and then i'm actually going to pull that one out you can pull it out you have to lift that little tab there with a little tiny screwdriver and then i'm going to see if i can correct this Okay, one other thing. So if you're going to pull any of these out, uh, you know, I'm going to take a video of it for myself so you don't accidentally forget what goes where. See what I mean? So you want to be able to see. Every vehicle's different. Okay, so now we know. Are these the same? Anyways, you get the idea. Okay. Okay, guys, so I got them all pretty much clean. So I was able to get a little pin like this, see, like for sewing. And I was able to get in there, sorry for the focus here, and I was able to bend that thing back. So check it out. Now it is looking the way it's supposed to look, see? So be very, very careful. You don't want these things to, um, see? It's gotta be down. So when, the, when the, the pin goes in on the code reader, see, everything's gotta push nice, and it's gotta be clean. So, okay, I'm gonna clean these a little bit better, but they're pretty good, see, look. And I'm gonna blow it out and let's try the code reader, see if that worked. Okay guys, great news. It is working, but bad news. I got a really bad code for this particular transmission. But anyways, that is how you get one of these working if they're not working. Uh, give me a thumbs up if this helped you out. Till next time, everybody.